So after watching Martos play the 1400 by 1050 stretched resolution in Fortnite Chapter 3 and actually seeing how good he performs on it, I thought it'd be a great idea to show you guys how to get it for yourselves at home because trust me guys, you all need to try out this stretched resolution as soon as possible, it's insane. So if this video does help you out guys, then feel free to drop a like on the video and again if you're still wondering why should I try this resolution, for one it'll boost your FPS massively, number two it'll improve your aim and number three it'll lower any any input delay you've got on your PC. Don't believe me? Just take a look at how smooth Martos's game is. Like, it's just so smooth, guys. Just look at it, it's insane. Anyways, let's go ahead and set up the 1400 by 1050 stretched resolution. All right, so to do it, guys, you must do two easy steps. Step number one is change the config file, and step number two is change the NVIDIA resolution, or whatever resolution you've got on your PC, like AMD, NVIDIA, any one of those. For step number one, you've got to go over to your desktop like this and press these following keys at the same time. That's Windows key plus R. After doing that, a run box should appear on screen like this. Type in the following command that's percentage sign local app data and then percentage sign again, just like that. Once you've done that guys, it should launch um, the local folder right here, and in here you wanna find the Fortnite game folder. Just type F until you find Fortnite game, open up that, open up saved, open up config, Windows client, and then you should see this config file right here called game user settings.ini. In here guys, you wanna go ahead and edit it, but before you do, right click on it, click on properties, and make sure this read only box is unchecked. It's really important that it's not checked, as we need to edit the file before rechecking this later on. Once it's unchecked guys, make sure to go into it again and edit it, just like this. And then in here guys, you wanna scroll down to the bottom and find the resolution section right here there's one here and then there's also one here now you yourself might have only one but if you've got two like me I have no idea why it's important you change both of them so for the first one that's the X I want to type in 1400 and then for the second one I want to type in uh, 1050 just like that and I want to do this for basically all of them and then remember if you've got two files like this matching I have no idea why I had this make sure that you copy and paste um, so both of them match or they'll conflict with each other so if you've got these both like this guys you are all good to go press file press save close it down and again before we actually exit out of this you want to right click on it click on properties and check read only what this will do is it'll prevent Fortnite from making any automatic changes and resetting your stretched resolution back to native resolution as Fortnite can sometimes do that. Make sure that's on read only, press OK, close this down and now we're ready for step two. So to change the Nvidia resolution you want to go back onto your desktop, you want to right click and click on the Nvidia control panel. Again you can do this um, in similar steps if you're on AMD but I myself am on Nvidia and then you should be greeted with this section right here. Now before we go ahead and make a custom resolution, make sure you do this guys, under display where it says adjust desktop size and position, make Make sure that the full screen option right here is selected. Some of you might have aspect ratio and this will give you black bars. If you want it stretched like Martos, make sure it's on full screen just like this right here. Then we can go back into change resolution, click on customize and then click on custom resolution right here and in here you want to make the custom resolution. Just going to go ahead and type in Martos's resolution right here and again also guys make sure that the refresh rate matches your monitor's refresh rate. So mine's 144Hz, I'm going to put 144Hz in there and then it says test, click on that and then it should sort of make your screen black or whatever. Do not panic and um, it will load up and as you can see it's actually tested the resolution right here. Looks good, press yes and then after this it should pop up um, as a separate resolution from 1920 by 1080 and if I press OK has it done it and yes it has awesome so to actually activate the resolution guys all you've got to do is double click on it click apply and again it will put us in to that 1400 by 1050 stretched resolution just like this and again you can see how stretched my PC is after that guys you're all good to go just open up Fortnite and your lobby screen should look like this it should look super stretched then after going in game you should be on the 1400 by 1050 stretched resolution if not guys or if you've got any issues please let me know in the comment section below and I will help you guys out and if you want to go back to native say if you don't like this resolution or you just want to go back on a native all you've got to do is go on your desktop 
locked up, right click on the Nvidia control panel again, and then once it does load up, it does sometimes take a while, just simply click on the 1920 by 1080 resolution, click apply, and that'll send you back to the native 1920 by 1080 resolution on your desktop, but that's not all. Again, if you want to revert the whole native resolution, this is only step one. You need to go back into the config again, Windows R, local updater, just like that. Find Fortnite, um, where is it at? Fortnite, Fortnite, Fortnite. Find Fortnite, Fortnite game, open up that, open up saved, config, Windows client, Right click on this, make sure you change it um, from read only, just so we're gonna edit it, click edit, and then again, all you wanna do to revert it, guys, is go back onto these resolutions right here, 1920, 1080, 1920 by 1080, and again, copy and paste. Some of you won't have to do this, it's just because I've got two of them and I don't want them to conflict. Press save, boom, just like that, close that down. And you can also read only again just to make sure Fortnite doesn't change anything. And then if you open up Fortnite, guys, you should be back on 1920 by 1080. Again, this is only if you want to revert it, as I know a lot of you guys out there may not enjoy this res and want to go back to native, which is completely fine. But yeah, guys, I hope this video was helpful. Let me know what you think about the 1400 by 1050 stretch resolution that Martos himself um, uses. I'll link his video below. Trust me, you need to check it out. He plays like an absolute beast on it, and it makes his game super, super smooth, and it'll make your game super, super smooth as well. I'll leave a link to his video in the description below. I'll catch you all in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.